morning. Welcome to Prime Time News. I'm Anupama Suvarna. Right now, for the headlines. Worth 8 lakhs 34 kg ganja seized. Three Mysore or Chikmagalore men held. BJP threw cracker to Congress hotel. Workers clashed at Tenkapete. Proud to be a Kuwaiti, 6th edition launched. New village for talent and pleasure. Trust in youth brought victory. Youth Congress plans service. Center releases another 127.3 crore. Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme unspent in Karnataka. Military dolphins of Ukraine left in search for mates. The Coastal Security Police in a major hall seized ganja worth rupees 8 lakhs and arrested three persons. The accused have been identified as Enus Ahmad and Mansur Ahmad from Mysore and Anwar Pasha from Chikmaglo. Police said that the accused were transporting more than 34 kg of ganja from Mysore to Udupi where they planned to sell it. On receiving authentic information that the accused were staying at Attavar Uppina Dakkit, Manglo here. The Coastal Security Police raided their hideout and recovered three travel bags by which the accused had planned to transport the ganja to Udupi. Police recovered 34.6 kg of ganja and three mobile phones from the accused. During interrogation, it was revealed that a man identified as Anwar Pasha from Mysore had given them the ganja to sell in Udupi. Coastal Security Police Inspector Y. Gangireddy, Head Constable Starnath Pranesh Shashidhar Nazar Lokesh Vijay and driver Usman carried out the operation under the direction of Coastal Security higher officials. Trouble broke out at Tenkapete Udupi here on March 12th after BJP workers allegedly threw crackers at a hotel owned by a Congress member. It is said that Sham Prasad Kudwa of BJP, who defeated Ajit Rao in the just concluded Udupi CMC elections, carried out a victory procession in an open jeep at Tenkapete. The procession was flanked by a number of BJP supporters on bikes carrying flags and bursting crackers. As they reached Ram Bhavan Hotel owned by Ajit Rao, they threw in crackers at the hotel and allegedly created a ruckus. As soon as the news reached Congress workers, they rushed to the spot in large numbers and retaliated. Verbal duels and clashes erupted between the two groups, said eyewitnesses. Police led by DYSP Prabhudev Mane, Circle Inspector Maruti Nayak and Town SI Lingaraju arrived at the spot and brought the situation under control. However, though BJP workers left the spot after intervention of the police, hundreds of Congress workers went on a flash protest demanding apology from BJP and police action in the matter. <laughs> The sixth edition of the popular event, Proud to be Kuwaiti, was launched on Tuesday at Kuwait International Fairground in Mishraf. Due to high demand for participating in this huge event, the organizers this year built an entire village on a 20,000 square meter area instead of holding it in a hall as they used to do it earlier. The event will remain open for 14 days for public from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. The Proud to be Kuwaiti is an annual event that features the talents of Kuwait's brightest and most innovative young minds in their own chosen field of enterprise. The entry for the exhibition is free and open to all nationalities. Now, take a short commercial break. Trust in Youth brought victory. Youth Congress plans service. Center releases another 127.3 crore Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme 
अनस्पेंट इन कर्नाटका मिलिट्री डॉल्फिन ऑफ यूक्रेन लेफ्ट इन सर्च फॉर मेट्स